Before I get into this video, I want to stress that I am open and receptive to any kind of prophetic message or locution or any kind of apparition that might be filmed or uh, maybe they've seen or eyewitness accounts. And I also, for the most part, do try to reserve my judgment whenever I hear someone's uh, testimony on something of these matters. Uh, and there's even some people that I would say, are, as I'm describing when I get into this video, would actually fit the bill uh, for such individuals that do have these uh, testimonies, have had visions, and that I personally do, for the most part, do believe. However, I'm definitely seeing an increasingly large number of individuals and a lot of specific channels that are just popping up, all claiming to not only report visions, you know, and like locutions and apparitions, what have you, but they're taking it a step further, saying that they're receiving not just, uh, you know, weekly, but sometimes daily direct messages from the Blessed Mother, various saints, or even Jesus Christ himself. And what I'm about to discuss really isn't necessarily a Catholic thing. It's more of a Christian thing I'm seeing on uh, YouTube specifically. Uh, certainly, I think even the, la the most popular one, I think, was in um, 2019, where I think most people have heard of that one, maybe have seen it. 2019 and 2020, before all this stuff started happening in the world, uh, some a, a pastor famously put out, I believe it was like a, might have even been an Instagram post or like a social media Twitter post, but... Uh, basically claiming about this uh, vision he's ha he had, and I thought I saw it, and I thought, oh, this is pretty interesting. I thought it was interesting, too. Uh, I think he even went out to put more predictions that were out there that never did come true. But the point is, you know, stuff like this kind of starts to spread like wild wildfire. Um, I've seen other Christian videos uh, pop up, again, conveniently around 2020 when the world was start starting to get kind of crazy. People saying that they had uh, these predictions of what was going to happen. And in my opinion, a lot of these predictions about where things were kind of going you didn't necessarily need a crystal ball to kind of see and maybe predict where it was going because a lot of people were predicting oh the world where it is right now uh to a t with no with no specific vision and certainly you know in the catholic church there are there's no shortage of uh bold divine revelations that we have gone on most of, majority of the catholic church do kind of accept more or less uh from various saints uh so specifically we're talking about saint faustina um, other kind of bold claims, you know, coming from people like the likes of Blessed Catherine Emmerich, to name a couple. So a lot of respected uh, individuals for sure in the church, this is something that's not necessarily a new thing. And I'm not, definitely I'm not inferring nor I'm lumping those uh, individuals I just left, left in there or other people from the Catholic Church that have made prophetic messages. But what is obvious to me especially from those distinctions I just made, uh, especially those in two individuals and a lot of individual saints as well, is that many people of the past compared to now were not reaping any kind of financial or social reward from essentially advertising these things. And it, it's obvious now that there's channels that are basing almost all their content on reporting these various quote-unquote mystical reports. Uh, like I said, from these can be from prophecies, dreams, locutions, apparitions, or direct content from saints or you know, Jesus Christ, even God. But what really surprises me is that there is a, I was, what I'm surprised is when I click on these videos, which maybe I shouldn't click on them because then these things would be coming in my feed, and I try to not click on them, but uh, it seems that there's a large number of people that are openly, openly believe these videos, most of which have little to no proof or substance to really even back up their claims. So they might be, uh, I, I heard this or I saw this, or here's my next message to you, um, especially the Blessed Mother videos, like a, a lot of them starting Dear Children, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Not just like the, the Medjugorje posts that I would see from people, which maybe I'll get into that briefly, but just other individual channels are saying they're getting direct content from uh, the Blessed Mother. Which, again, is fine in some cases. I'm not saying that, that could be that this all could be legitimate. But remember that this is not necessarily what the Catholic Church really recommends us doing, to just start listening to a bunch of self-proclaimed mystics and visionaries and other individuals' uh, visions and locutions. Because some of this stuff, for the most part, uh, it, it's been traditionally taught that your own personal message and vision might just be just for yourself. But, but besides that, the Catholic Church really makes it clear to really be very, very skeptical. The Catholic Church as a whole is very skeptical to any kind of, not just a, a vision, but any kind of apparition. We all kind of, I think most of us know that, but especially so when money is involved. And I am not necessarily against one collecting like ad revenue or maybe even asking for some funds possibly uh, if for, for, such an, for such a quote-unquote apostolate. 
But when you're calling for donations in some of these channels that are already having ad revenue and they're calling so they need more money to uh, to get more videos released, that kind of, again, raises an eyebrow. I mean, you re- most of us kind of know you don't really necessarily need a whole lot of technology to put out uh, videos that most of these are. Generally, the videos are not really necessarily crazy production quality, nor do they have to be uh, such as what I'm producing right here. And it gets me a little alarmed that this is there's so many people that seem to be not only throwing money at them, but really openly from what I'm seeing in the comments, and there seems to be a lot of comments in some of these, openly just really believing some of these messages. Uh, and then some of which, which we, we know this is going on for some time. If you get any kind of Catholic mail or you subscribe to anything in the mail or you donate to any Catholic charity, I'm not saying at all this is a bad thing, but uh, there's many people that just throw money at um, individual charities saying, well, I'll put some prayers in for you. We'll put you in our prayer list. Again, some of this stuff is our great organizations, but you find that these Catholic YouTubers are saying the same thing. They're, ha- they're saying they're having divine revelations. Um, they have this making it seem like they have this special gift that we are not privy to. And you, you here's this person you can have direct contact with uh, in the comment section or writing messages to that now it makes people more vulnerable to essentially just throw money at them because there's so much emotion um, at play here. And religion has never been really adverse to that. But this is why the Catholic Church, in my opinion, compared to other religious organizations that are a little more organized, has always very been very careful to say this because uh, we're, we're well aware of the fact that this can be something that can break someone's faith. Yes, it seems like we can bring people into the into the church possibly through some of these videos and content. But the biggest thing we have to be mindful of, and even you who's just a casual viewer, is that even if you promote this in some way, is that if this com- turns out to be somewhat false or these apparitions or their prophecies somehow do not come true, uh, then this can lead people astray. And not only that, it detracts others who might be on the fence looking at religion, who might see these videos, and it just turns them off immediately saying, yeah, this, it's obvious these people are just falling for every for anything. Uh, or just there's any any video can pop up and I can make up my own thing and just essentially just people just make some up some story and we start seeing a huge cacophony of videos being released on YouTube that are, are not necessarily teaching us basic tenets of the faith, which is the most important stuff that is going to have the most substance, uh, but simply just tons of videos on YouTube that are quote unquote Catholic that are just promoting uh, someone's visions of dire future consequences of a uh, tyrannical government and that we're all going to essentially be enslaved, et cetera, et cetera. And Christ is coming soon. Uh, and those, again, these are f- for sure. We can make the case that these things might may or may not be true. And again, I want to emphasize what I said in the beginning of the video, there's some people that I definitely respect. And I actually would say I am more, more likely to believe that are saying these things. So I'm not saying this type of content is in of itself bad, but my point is I, I'm just seeing a huge rise in this and I'm uh, very, very cautious and, again, somewhat surprised at people's uh, willingness to uh, accept some of these things that, for the most part, I would say don't have the most amount of uh, my, my not, not a whole lot of substantial evidence, in my opinion, especially some of these apparition videos that I see uh, that do not do not look that substantial. I think, I think if Christ or the Blessed Mother is making her, his or her vision uh, apparent to the world, it would be obvious. It wouldn't be something you'd have to maybe think it would be a, a flash of light or uh, a photo lens glare. It would be something we all would know that. Uh, and I've had individuals tell me that as well, that they've said, well, you know, you would know it if it happened to you. And I say, well, it's good. But can you, I mean, even when they explain it to me, it, it still doesn't sound that pronounced. And again, when you have emotion, you have religion involved, these things are a major issue. So I'm not telling people to be openly skeptical to everything. I'm just saying I think this is something we uh, as Catholics as a whole need to be very mindful about and also guard because our goal is to protect the, not just the church itself, but the integrity of the church and the visions. Because if, if anything is going, it really can start devaluing some of the some of the concrete, more concrete, substantial visions and visionaries and apparitions and prophecies uh, that have come before us. So any questions on that or any, actually, I should say more comments on that. I would love to see them down below. Uh, That's just my two cents about this whole matter, but thanks for watching.